Protected landscapes areas are now at the mercy of the National Council of Territory, which plays God over investment decisions within them. From rain to hail, which we mentioned in February of this year, is now taking on a completely legal and formal form. AOS and other environmental organizations started the year 2024 with anxiety and fear that the government would approve changes to the most destructive law regarding the protected areas. Despite many attempts to stop them using every possible means for consultation and advice, a process which should have been undertaken by the relevant authorities in accordance with local legislation, the government moved forward. In June 2024, the fears expressed in January of 2024 by advocates for the protection of nature in Albania were confirmed. The government approved several acts allowing the construction, operation and transmission of any kind of projects within protected landscapes. Mr. Talent Bino, president of AOS, stated in February 2024, the NCT has the authority to overturn previous prohibitions, granting approval for activities within protected areas. The NCT is reinstated as the primary authority governing these regions, sanctioning regulations, illegal structures, purportedly strategic investments, and various other activities. If the government's desired outcome is achieved and this draft law is approved, the legislation could aptly be dubbed the Unprotected Areas Law. Ten draft decisions have already been approved. The draft decisions begin with prohibited actions. Article 4. Prohibited activities in Pisciporo Narte include a. Those that worsen, destroy, or lead to the loss of natural habitats. b. Fragmentation of habitats. Article 5. Permitted activities. Allowed activities in Pisciporo Narte include those listed in point 5. Article 20 of Law, No. 81 2017. The following activities are also permitted in Pisciporo Narte. Agritourism accommodations and supporting infrastructure. Renewable energy installations. Urban, recreational, or economic interventions. Preserving the area's character. Fish breeding centers with necessary permits. Construction, sewage treatment in farms, drainage canals, highways, urban areas, and similar activities with NCT, permits military activities with environmental permits. Any activity in accordance with the integrated management plan of the protected area. The National Territorial Council, NCT, has authority to allow urban development and the construction of highways within these protected areas. The proposed legislation allows various activities within these landscapes, including agritourism accommodation, campsites, renewable energy installations, construction of highways and urban areas. This represents a shift from previous regulations, as defined by the IUCN, which offered varying levels of protection within inner zoning of a protected area. With the latest approvals, even the core area representing the highest natural protection is now endangered by potential highways, photovoltaic plants, and wind turbines. Specifically, if you have any ideas for investments for Narda Lagoon, you can now apply your idea, project, investment, whether it involves a highway or a resort. The draft decisions now affect protected landscape areas equally from their outer border to their central points. It is evident that the government's priority, reinforced by the 2024 U.S. Department's Investment Climate Report, is economic development without considering environmental protection or sustainable long-term goals.